Whoa. Whoa! Okay. When you say it's far back, it's. I mean, it's from this point. It looks like a two-cylinder because you can't see half most of yeah. the engine. With Christmas just around the corner. You're probably wondering where the Drift Games mystery boxes are. Well, wonder no more because they're finally here. Here we see a little Josh running to get his on Christmas morning. Don't you want to be as happy as little Josh? Not only do you get 200 euros worth product for 150 euros, we're chucking in two free entries to our PS13 giveaway. And if the mystery of what you're getting isn't a surprise enough, then you're going to be hella surprised when you see brand new, never released items in there. We're only going to be selling 250 of these boxes, so don't sleep on it, act fast, and make sure you've got yours for the big day. Merry Driftmas, everybody. What is up guys and welcome to a very special video. It is a beautiful morning as we drive from Yokohama to Tokyo. And guess what I'm driving? An amazing black Oryx 7 FD. Thank you to Monique and Rohab for giving me a load of this car to make the journey to Daigo Saito's. Before we get there, some important updates. You guys don't know, we are getting to the very end of our Abisu hoodie and t-shirt combo. There's very few left if you wanna grab one. We're never making them again. We started with 200. By the time this video goes out, we're down to like 20 or 30 left of each. So grab them on the driftgames.life website if you wanna grab a bit of history of our S14 journey through Ibisu last weekend. Also, right now, live on the driftgames.life website, digital posters of our red PS13. We put up 5,000 posters, and when all of them are gone, at Christmas, we're gonna pick one person who's purchased a digital poster and give them the keys to my beautiful red PS13. Anyway, we are now heading about two hours out of Tokyo to meet up with our good friend Daigo Saito. Daigo and I go way back, probably eight, nine years, but since I've seen this place last, it's got a little bit more extreme. So we're heading there now. We're gonna check out the wildest garage in Japan. So I've just driven two hours through Yokohama and Tokyo in this beautiful Oryx 7. It's absolutely an incredible car. There's no better way to experience Japan than in a JDM legend. Royce MX-5s everywhere. This is nuts. Wild. Konnichiwa. This is gonna be nuts. Absolutely nuts. Okay, so this is the showroom that greets you when you come in to Daigoland. I don't know if it's really called Daigoland, but I'm just gonna call it Daigoland. So you can see the main road is just there. And then outside you got like this really nice, very strange for Japan, sort of cobble or design tile, I guess. Coming off the road and this is what greets you. A full supercar display, just wild. So this is, I know if you're a purist, it's gonna seem crazy, but these are all wide body. So this is a wide body Testarossa. And then we got a 308 in wide body. The beautiful chaise long. What? That you kind of, it's like a French couch that so you can. 
I think you're supposed to look, not sit like this, but like. Yeah, you kind of just pan out and look at your Ferraris. I don't have any Ferraris, but I still think we could pan out pretty nice down the shade. We should get a chase on. Tires from what looks like some sort of a GT3 car, race car, which has a nice little touch. Then we got some old school helmets here. And this Ferrari 430 wide body Liberty Walk again. So Daigo's done a lot of work with Liberty Walk over the years. The wheels on this are mind blowing because they're like a satin silver on the outside and a bronze on the inside. And everything here is on air suspension to get it that low, low. And then not wide bodied, but also very cool is this Lamborghini Diablo in red. This is beautiful. This is the car they used to play on like Need for Speed on the PC back in the day. The old Lamborghini Diablo. Still looks great. Maybe even looks better now that we're starting to appreciate it. And then we got some Ducatis. We got more race tires. A mirror. It's almost like a giant Hot Wheels box. Yeah. It's like a Hot Wheels collection where you just have a bunch of stuff in here. And that GTR is just beautifully parked outside as well. Just guy, just some guy just came in, you know, with the GTR to just. This is a wild spot. Right? Land. And not only in here is it cool, but you can actually go upstairs to get a view of the rest of the place. So upstairs? you can go upstairs. Do you want to go upstairs? Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. What's cool is it's actually a really good use of the space because you have the road at the front, right there. Then you've got this massive electrical pylon here. Then you've got the train station all the way along there. So it's kind of a noisy spot anyway. So why not put a drift track in here? There is definitely prettier places around here to look at. We'll get there in a second, but we love a little bit of rooting around in the back of sheds, right? So there's some sheds. stuff here. There's a nice Toyota Sora here. Then they've got all the MX-5s that they use for basically twin battle practice. An Alteza just tucked in the corner, some sort of a stacker more mx5s and they have a four-wheel drive drift car here the subaru has definitely seen some uh, some action another alteza and a subaru for more four-wheel drive drift. these are all kind of the cars that they use oh the way up there there's a rocket bunny s15 just on top of a container three stories up wild so i'm not sure if you guys are aware or not that daigo was a big inspiration behind why i built a corvette he has a ton of them all over the place we'll see a few more in a minute Here's one just chilling. I don't know if this is a, looks like a race car Corvette. It's got big slicks on there, all blacked out. But uh, the reason that we wanted to show you this side is it's probably the wildest part of Daigoland. He's got another old Pontiac here. Oh, Josh is here. Josh. He's a massive spider. The thing is humongous. A pretty crazy looking spider. So a lot of you guys wondering why Josh isn't in the videos in Japan. That's why. It's just spiders everywhere in Japan. Just can't deal with it. So this is essentially a grotto. So Daigo apparently got in contact with the person who designed the Pirates of the Caribbean ride in Disneyland Tokyo and decided to build kind of his own version of that. Isn't this wild? Cannonball! Oh, there's no water. There's no water. So you got a pool, you got a slide, you got a hot tub over there, you got like a cool little. Like. I wonder if it's loaded? I hope not. <laughs> like it's all old school kind of pirate style. And then there's a sauna in here, which is wild. And then there's old chairs. You even got a treasure chest over here. Look at this. It's a treasure chest. And all these are like, all these fake coins. Hey Lucas, your payment for this trip is here. Oh, great. Wait, they're glued. I can't get them out. That's not my problem. That's not my problem. I told you where the money was. And you got this little, like this little tunnel that goes all the way through here. There's no need for it. There's no logic behind it. But you've got a tunnel that just goes back out to the drift play area. This is real life, people, real life. And this is not even all of it. Sums I, you up, sums you up, right? I agree. I you love agree? Hooters. Do you know what I found? I can't even explain what I found. Under this, under, over this tunnel, there's a Jeep just kind of randomly placed up there. Just to give it that aesthetic vibe of, this is a fake container door. This is a Jeep that looks like it. This is just like Universal Studios. This is mental. 
I don't think it's fake. I think there's something behind it. You think there's a real, there's a real something in there? I'm just scared if I open it, I'm... More I'm spiders. Not, more spiders. More spiders. <laughs> Pero but in fact is a flamingo Coming to Havana, Henry from Puerto Rico On a pirate ship, you don't know where do we go Alright guys, we just off camera uh, caught up with Daigo and had some barbecue And there's a lot of people hanging out here today So we're kind of exploring around his crazy land, I guess Daigo land, right? Daigo land Which sounds like Lego land, but it's That's way more fun Straight away, just, you know, chilling The coolest skyline probably ever Ken Mary this is actually a drift car, so I'm just gonna. I don't think we for scale here can see the width of this car. Look at that thing running V8 on ITVs, full drift car inside. Look at that, and everything is candy orange. Proper drift car, proper angle kit, proper power. Yeah, as you guys can see in there, full fuel cell, independent rear suspension. Just a beautiful thing. And something a bit more familiar to me is the Corvette, which was one of the cars that inspired me to build mine. Is this, he has about four of these, I think. I'm not sure which one this is, but this one, you will notice being the most unique thing, is that it's right-hand drive. So it is a right-hand drive Corvette. So I've never seen anything like this before. So mine is left-hand drive. I think every other drift Corvette is left-hand drive. This one has been converted for right hand drive, so giving me ideas, Lucas. Giving me ideas. I've never seen Freddie Asma look so confused. <laughs> like, this is like a fusion kitchen, isn't it? It's like the, the old school Japanese with the new school American with Daigo's touch. It's epic. Everything here is epic. He's a cocktail of a man. Yes. It's a little, all the traveling he's done, he's turned into like old school yeah. JDM stuff into very modern drift stuff. Yeah. And he's got palm trees behind him. Right? Like, right, right now, it looks like you're in California. Right, right. And we're in some uh, middle of farmland, you know, industrial, residential mix area in Japan. It's just, you kind of got to pinch yourself and, and ask yourself, is this, is this really happening or is it all part of the, part of the matrix? I don't really know. man in a small car. Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You are crushed in there. Yeah. And I even have my plateau shoes on. What a terrible idea. Okay. Let's see how you get on. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> I feel like that's the most stressful run you've ever done in first Jesus gear. Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> first gear never felt so scary. You're right. What a fun car though. I see why people love it. So while everybody is uh, getting ready to do some spins in the MX-5s, just want to give you a little, uh, I don't know, kind of blows my mind the contrast, right? So Tygo has so many different cars. Like, for example, this is a wide body NB, just chilling here under a palm tree. It's a picture, man. And Josh is probably like, I wish I was there. Josh would love this now. Yeah. Wide body and and then like you go, oh, this is some kind of like rough cars like the MX-5s and then this is what he drove in in. 
which is a <laughs> Mansory Rolls Royce Cullinan. So he's driving this every day. Got a Harley Davidson over here. Nothing makes sense anymore. All right, so this is uh, Daigo's private uh, building. Hello. Um, this is wild. So he's just built a restaurant and a bar, essentially, at the side of his drift area. And it's got, and I'm not exaggerating, a full bar, motorcycles. This is his uh, logo. And then we got like, a little meeting room down here at the back. This is just crazy. And all of you outside. <laughs> We're in Japan, remember. We're in Japan. Look at this place. These cars are so wrecked. Time to boogie. Okay. All right, so Daigo is going to chase us. It's going to be fun. Let's do it. But me and Daigo held hands for like at least saw, two seconds. Bro, I saw you guys over there have a little, you guys had a a little moment. moment. You guys had. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> this, this is wild. I'm hiding behind a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Sick, mad, cool, coolest man in the world. Good, wow. So, Dave, where are we going now? We are going to Daigo's workshop where all those magical cars that you've seen on the interwebs get built. And he's not there right now, he's still entertaining people at the barbecue, but he's let us go there and check out the cars, which I'm actually really excited about. As cool as supercars are and all American cars, we came here to see some drift cars. We are drift games after all. So Lucas and I and all the boys are gonna go check out Daigo's workshop. So here we are at Fat Five Racing. Let's do a little exploring. Okay, so we'll go inside in a moment, but I wanna do uh, just a little bit of a look outside the uh, Mark 7 that I drove here in, looking absolutely spectacular. Right here at the front of Daigo's, we have a Dodge Challenger drift car, just up on a stacker, I guess, and then a beautiful, 180 below. Look at that. What sort of a world is this? So we got a Soar C5, another C5. Not sure why there's so many C5s here. And a lot of Ibisu missile cars, like this JZX90. Look at this old school Soar just chilling over here in the corner. Very nice JZX90. That car looks great. It's like a kind of a pastel gray on white. Wide body crown. S15 drift car and then what looks like some old Toyota or Datsun or something? No idea. Loads of bumpers from Supras that have been broken. And then we got a look at this, a C6 Corvette just abandoned for spares in the corner. And then in this building there's more cars stored. So I just went in here and there is some Pro Mark II 
There's a wild soup right in here. Look at this. What sort of kit is that? That is awesome. Just kind of tucked in here with a Pro Mark II. Another one of Daigo's cars. See how far he puts the seats back in these. Like, look, there's the, the pillars here and the seat way back here. Yeah, just wheels and oil and parts and stuff everywhere. So I'm just walking across the yard and here's an A90 Supra in here. Kind of half taken apart, no engine in. An Altezza with a wide body kit. It looks like it's getting a V8, a big V8 on independent throttle bodies. Another project. And then you move into the main workshop. Or 32 drift car in here. It's a super nice build. Casual Ferrari. Testarossa, I think. But it's a Testarossa, but it has very strange rear arches. It's like kind of just, oh, the vents are taken out. So another one probably waiting to be wide-bodied. This is the car Daigo was driving in Ibisu. Funny story is I actually was, Daigo was chasing me in Ibisu, and I didn't know he was in this car, so I didn't know who it was, but it was Daigo in the end. Not bad for an Ibisu car. Look at the placement of the oil cooler here to keep it away from the front. She's seen some action. This looks like it's a four-door Camaro, I don't know what, Camaro, I don't know what this is. Running a very old school Nissan engine, you see fully tube framed at the front. Modern suspension, it's got a roll cage going in. I don't know what this is. Let me know in the comments if you know what this car is. It looks like a four-door Skyline. I'm not sure what is going on, this must be a drag car. Because there is just no way that's a thing. Then we've got an A90 Supra with the HGK kit by the looks of things, which it is. There's a lot of A90 Supras here. This thing looks wild. Full carbon. This one looks like it's got a V8 in it though. Most of them that Daigo drove have two J's. We assume LS something. What? Oh, not an LS. TRD. It is a Toyota V8, which I presume is the same V8 that is in the Land Cruiser outside. Mm. But now, much more tuned. So that's a Toyota with a Toyota engine, which is unusual. We got this Pro GT86 here. It looks like another one of Daigo's cars with delivery off. Man, there's just cars everywhere. Look at this, another Corvette. How many Corvettes have we seen today? Six, seven, eight? Count them all. And this is the X race car Corvette that he converted into a drift car, the big V8. This is another A90, so this one is like early in its build by the looks of things. Is that a, a VR engine in there? I'm not sure what that is. Let me know in the comments what engine is in the Supra. You can see full cage going in this A90 Supra, another build going in. And then this is a another old school build. So I think this is another Ken Mary. Big old V8 in there. Those carbon throttle bodies. There's just wild projects everywhere. And we got another of Daigo's favorites, which is the JZX100. This one looks very nice. Pro build, full cage, full cage. Looks awesome. And then a PS13, so something quite normal in here, which is a Looks like a Pandem kitted. Looks like Craig's car, except a lot more power. This is wild, isn't it? <laughs> the last place in the There's just a Ferrari place. over your head in the shot, which is even more funny. Probably gonna be a Liberty Walk. It's probably gonna, probably gonna be a Liberty Walk car. Yeah. I think this is the only car here that I actually understand. Super clean, look at this fresh build. Rear mounted radiator, all the bits and pieces. And here's one that you guys will wanna see up close, which is the Koska. I think that beautiful. Beautiful. It is, it is beautiful. wildly <laughs> wide, though. Oh yeah, but like, you can never be too wide. Uh, that like, let's just look at where the standard car ends and where the tire <laughs> wheel go to, which is pretty impressive here. It's like a quarter car length. Yeah, it's a good, good third wider here. I think so. This is very similar to the other car you guys will have seen over at Daigo Land. A full drift car radiator. Uh, in the front on this, but it's upgraded to fuel cell, 
independent rear suspension, battery in the back. It's a proper drift car, but look, it's kind of incorporated the old dashboard, the old the old uh, wood, with the 2000 GT, but then it's got all modern stuff in there. Again, with the Sprint Car V8. Just take this in, boys and girls. That is how you build an impressive car. You can see here some of the old suits. Super cool, right? All of the Formula Drift trophies. So you've got Formula Drift trophies from Formula Drift Asia, Formula Drift Japan, Formula Drift USA. And I assume somewhere there will be a big one from where he won the championship. And they look even in Latvia, Drift HGK. Wow. Malaysia, all over the world, he has carbon fiber trophies everywhere and these are just the carbon fiber ones they are not the entire collection of trophies that he has but um yeah super cool look at all this memorabilia everywhere this is like daigo's office at the workshop got a gangster 2j being built over here there's just a lot to take in here folks what we got over here lucas we got a, a very interesting r32 and it has the engine is supposedly moved way So this is back. one that's it's a drift car, but it's kind of built like a track drift car. Help me pop it open because it's on the thing. So basically, the engine's supposed to be way back, so it's supposed to be like super balanced and perfect drift car. So we're gonna- So a perfect drift car, but not for competition, essentially. Yeah, because it's illegal. Whoa! Whoa, okay. When you say it's far back, it's. I mean, it's, it's, some of the cylinders are where the gearbox should be. That's wild. Look at this, look at the space. It makes a lot more sense it's a frunk. It's got a frunk, it's got a frunk. <laughs> like I kinda just wanna sit there. <laughs> you could crash, you, you could drive this because you could crash this and nothing would go wrong for you, a long time. You know what, let me just put that for a second. All I wanna say is that bride seat right there and send it. I'll just, I'll just <laughs> sit, let good. Daigo drive too. They've created the dashboard here to actually house half of the engine and the seat is way far back because it has to be, because the gearbox is way far back. So that's the back seat, right? <laughs> so it's, yes, it's obviously the most illegal drift car I've ever seen, but it must be amazing to drive. From this point, it looks like a two cylinder because you can't see half, most of yeah, the engine. But it's, it's, it's a half wild how much, I don't know if you can get it on camera, but how far back that is, is ridiculous. This thing must be amazing to drive. All right guys, we hope you guys enjoyed this insane place. Thank you to Daigo for inviting us out. It's just been wild to check out what he's built here in Japan. And there's so much more we've got to explore in the next couple of videos. We are still hunting the craziest stuff in this country when it comes to cars. So we hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Let us know in the comments what your favorite video has been so far. And also a reminder that the digital poster for the PS13 is now on sale on an early bird on our website, 1995. And you could be getting the keys of one of the nicest cars in Ireland. Remember, you can enter from anywhere in the world. You just have to arrange the collection of the car from our HQ. Other than that, mystery boxes also for Christmas are now on sale on driftgames.live. Thank you for all of your support, whether it's our giveaways or our merchandise. It helps us fund all of these crazy adventures and give you guys the content that you love back. So thank you so much to everybody who's watched so far. All right, guys, on to the next video.